Hey guys, welcome back. I'm uh, I'm on my way out to go camping again. Um, I'm not really gonna show as much this time as I did last time, because uh, you know that was I had uh, almost two and a half hours of footage last time, and uh, yeah, that was just way too much. But uh, I mean, I, I ended up cutting out a bunch of stuff I would rather <clears throat> have kept, but. Uh, it was a three-part video, and each part was still at least 35 minutes long. I'm not doing that to you again. Um, this time, I might show one shelter. I'm definitely going to go over my pack contents with you, though. Um, how I get everything consolidated, packed into one uh, one backpack, and uh, the type of backpack I have, and you know, go over maybe where I got stuff from and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's what you can expect from this video, and hopefully, it'll. Uh, It'll go well, and you'll like it, and you'll get some good info out of it. Anyway, uh, I'll start recording. I'll actually probably do that video in the morning, because uh, it's 6.30 already. It's starting to get dark, and it's a little over an hour to the camp spot. So, uh, I probably won't be uh, getting back on again I just wanted until the morning. So, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, hello. Welcome to the next video. And... Uh, I hope it's good. All right, guys, do you remember what I said in the last video about insect repellent? Seriously. Uh, within about five minutes of getting here, because I got out of the car and I started getting stuff ready and whatever, and uh, within about five minutes, I had multiple mosquito bites, and I think a horsefly bit me too, and, and that doesn't itch afterwards. It just freaking stings. But anyway, point is... Uh, yeah, mosquitoes. They don't serve a purpose, so I don't know why they exist. <sighs> so, reminder. Insect repellent. Great idea. Hey guys, um, it's a beautiful morning. Sun's coming out. I've been up for a couple hours now. Um, I decided to finish setting up my shelter, which I had attempted to do last night, but uh, it was dark and I was getting swarmed by more mosquitoes than I have ever seen in any one place at any one time in my life, which makes sense because I don't know if you could see that down there. Uh, I showed it in my last video. Well, that is still murky, nasty water. That is breeding ground USA, as I said in my last video, for mosquitoes. And it is, is not great. Um, I considered moving to a different spot, but realistically, in this area, uh, this the whole area, this is, this is Chowan River. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but the whole area is called Chowan Swamp which uh, is, is quite fitting. Um, and of course, that means tons and tons of mosquitoes. But, uh, you know, I'll live. I'll live. Uh, but came out here this morning, tried to finish up, with, uh, finish up with my shelter. Wasn't going so great, so I decided to try something new with my shelter. It looks good. I like it. But, uh, I mean, it's a little... There's a couple of spots where it kind of sags, and uh, I'm not too fond of that, but honestly, overall, it's not that bad. Uh, I'll be posting pictures to my Instagram, which is uh, Easy Mac Bushcraft Photos, and uh, I'll spell out the name down below in the description. And uh, I'll put the link to my first video also in the description. Um, and then the links to the follow-on videos because it's a three-part video uh i was out here for three days and had over two hours well you know i already said that in uh on the drive out here anyway um i'll put that link in my description as well and then you can follow the links in the description of that video to the follow-on videos but uh yeah i'm out here um uh, we'll see if uh if I stay out here, if the mosquitoes don't drive me away tonight. And, uh, hope y'all are having a good day. And let me get to mine.
Alright everybody, a uh, slight change of plans here. Uh, I decided not to do the pack thing while I'm out here. Uh, because in order to do it right, I would have to take everything down and put it all back up and pack it all away and then take it all back out and set up my camp again. And frankly, I'm uh, not feeling up to that. But uh, I figure I'll do a couple of things while I'm out here. Record it. Oh, check it out. That's awesome. Alright, anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, when I get back to town, after all this, back to the house, I'll, uh, I'll get it all set up, and I'll do that, so it'll be at the end of this video, but uh, I think you'll live, and I'll live, and uh, everybody will be happily ever after. Anyway, uh, so what I'll do is, while I'm out here, I might record a sh a few short clips or something like that. I've already taken a lot of pictures. So, uh, like I said, check out my Instagram, uh, see those pictures. Um, I'll include some B-roll shots that I've taken, uh, with the water and all that. Uh, I went swimming earlier and took my phone out with me and kind of, uh, just recorded little, little clips, you know, uh, also, I'll wrap those up in here, too. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to uh, check on my fire and hopefully start getting my dinner ready because I am hungry. All right. Take care, y'all. Talk to you later. Some creamy chicken and dumplings? Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing better. All right, guys, we're going to go on a little hunt here because I just read something uh, pretty interesting in this uh, survival guide app thing I downloaded. It's basically just a book. but uh, There's several of them out there. You can look through them and see which ones you like the best. But uh point is we are looking for a tree with kind of a three-pronged leaf that, uh, I don't know, kind of reminds me of a frog's foot. Only, you know, there's more toes on a frog's foot than three, but just the way it's shaped. And, ah, there's one. All right. See what I'm talking about? Those leaves right there. There's a smaller one right here too. Now, what's interesting about this tree that kind of weirds me out is that there's actually two different shapes of leaves. But this is the most distinguishable one and actually it's the most uh, frequently appearing one on the tree. See, there's only two on this branch of the oval leaves and then there's several of these. So, you want to find these. Um, I was looking for a bigger tree like this so I could break off a branch because I found a few 
back in my camp, but I, they were small. I didn't want to completely uproot them because it would be good for them to grow. Uh, because, and I'll explain why in a minute, I'm going to collect some of this and take it back to the camp, but uh, the leaves of this tree can apparently be very, very useful. And I'm going to test it out tonight and see how it goes. But uh, let me collect some of it and I'll go back to camp and I'll sit down and explain it to you. All right, so I've collected some of this and uh, I'm going to use it. And actually, I'm thinking about burning some of it to see if that helps. But this little three pronged leaf is the leaf of a sassafras tree. Uh, sassafras used to be used to make a kind of a sweet drink or something back in the day. Something, the way I understand it, I don't know, I wasn't alive. But the way I understand it is that it was something similar to root beer? I don't know. Anyway, point is, um, they figured out that it actually wasn't healthy. And uh, people were getting sick. So they actually... Uh, banned its use for making drinks. But I was just reading about uh, useful plants in the woods and sassafras came up as being an excellent insect repellent. Uh, so on top of just having a campfire lit because the smoke will drive them away, um, what it suggested was hanging some leaves from leaves from a sassafras tree inside your shelter. And so I was like, wow, I already know that there's sassafras trees around here. Because a couple camping trips ago, I saw this weird leaf. I was like, what in the heck is that? Uh, so my buddy and I figured out what it was. And um, we really didn't, well, I really didn't think about it having any other uses or anything, um, and now I know. So what I'm gonna do, uh, what I've already done is I've already put some in my shelter. Uh, I hung some on the, the support pole, and then I threw a couple of branches, uh, one on each side of the floor in the shelter, and I'm gonna put one along the back wall as well. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see how it works out, and, uh, exactly how um, effective it is tonight when all the mosquitoes start coming out again because they came out in force last night not as bad as they did the other night but that's because I had a fire going all day yesterday and uh, some of these I'm going to burn and hopefully those two things combined will drastically minimize my mosquito uh, adventures tonight because I hate mosquitoes. Literally their only use is food for lizards and amphibians and they pollinate some plants apparently but the uh, way I figure it there's a million other bugs that do those exact two things so does the world really need mosquitoes? No they're just a nuisance. All right, guys, so I had been trying to find an adult sassafras tree, and a lot of these leaves are uh, kind of chewed up, eaten up, misshapen. And uh, so I kept... There's several of these that I kept kind of just writing off as being uh, oak trees because of how much longer and narrower the leaves are or look than on a younger tree. <clears throat> See how far it branches out? These don't do that. So, I guess on the older trees, that three-pronged leaf gets a little less prominent. I mean, there's still a few up top that are pretty, pretty drastically three-pronged leaves. But, yeah, this is a sassafras tree. So, this is what the bark looks like. You know, I'm just doing this so you can identify it out in the woods. But again, keep in mind, see, look, that looks like an oak leaf. One of the many, many kinds of oak leaves. But it's right here on the side of a stinking sassafras tree. I don't 
get it. But one thing that helped me look at this tree and go, wait, this is a sassafras, is that, boom, oval leaf, odd-shaped leaf. I don't know, and I, I might be wrong, I'm not an expert on trees, but I don't know of any other tree, uh, aside from the sassafras tree, apparently, and I didn't even know about that, but I don't know any other tree that has two different types of leaves like that. It's just, it's weird to me. I'm going to have to look into that and see how many different types of trees do that. And then there's this. This little offshoot. I wonder if a little oak tree is growing out of the side. That, you know, in this, in, in this forest, in this place, it would not surprise me. Anyway, um, so there's that. Uh, so be careful when you're looking at them, because they... If you're not looking at the leaves closely enough and you're just kind of breezing on by the tree, you might confuse it with an oak, especially if it's got a little oak growing out of it. All right, so keep that in mind. Best option, look up, because there's more uh, leaves up there that are definitely, definitely sassafras leaves. <sighs> Which begs the question... How am I supposed to get more? They're way up there. Anyway, there's these ones down here. If I need more, I'll get these ones. Anyway, so yeah. Learned something new today, huh? Just going around, teaching myself to identify trees. Uh, I've got a few of them down pat pretty well. But, uh, check that out. That is massive. Look at that mushrooms. Hmm. I wonder if they're edible. Probably not. Yes. I'm going to go with no. Because I'm not an expert and I don't want to die. All right, anyway. I'm trying to find more cedars that are more accessible. Their bark's really good for making kindling, I realized. Or fire starter. Anyway, uh, just wanted to show you the giant frickin' cluster of mushrooms. Alright, guys. Uh, quick review on the whole sassafras thing. Um, crushing up the leaves a little bit. So you take two or three, kind of crush them up a bit. Rub them on your arms if you're wearing short sleeves. Rub them on the back of your neck, behind your ears. Um, I rubbed, them in, rubbed it in my hair a little bit. Um, pretty effective lasts uh, depending on it's gonna sound weird but the quality of the leaves from 15 to 30 minutes uh, I found that younger leaves so leaves from a little sapling like that size uh, work better so what you want is you want to find the softer leaves um, if you're getting it from a big tree it's got to be from a young branch you know what I mean uh, so yeah, just take two to four, kind of crush them up in your hands, and rub them on the exposed parts of your skin. You'll get about maximum 30 minutes, uh, of insect repellent. Um, putting it in your shelter to, uh, try to keep the bugs out, which was something else I read, uh, not effective. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, one of two things happened last night. I either put way too much, because I put, I crumpled some up and I put some in my sleeping bag, because I was like, yeah, if, if, uh, just having them around repels bugs, then why not crumple up a couple, put them in my sleeping bag? So I'm pretty sure one of two things happened. One, it didn't work with a darn, and, uh, I was punching myself in the face in my sleep to try to kill mosquitoes. Uh, and yes, I would sleep through that. Anyway, uh, or two, I have a mild allergy to sassafras because, like, my cheeks and my forehead are kind of swollen and I have a little bit of a headache. But, uh, I'm alright. It's already getting better. 
I can already feel my face better. My lips don't feel as weird. I feel like I got punched in the face a few times. So, um, there's that. So it's possible I was just slapping the heck out of myself in my sleep last night. Um, and even if it is a mild allergy, I just know next time it doesn't work putting the thes fres in the shelter anyway. So don't even bother. Rub it on my skin right before I go to sleep. And it'll be the same thing. I'll beat myself up in my sleep. That's fine. Uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick review on that and let you know... Uh, I did a lot of reading up on various trees and plants and stuff that are useful for various things last night, and uh, I intend uh, for one of my next videos soon to be about plants and uh, trees, in particular ones that I can find around here so I can, so I can show you how to prepare it, but uh, there are various things you can do with the bark or underbark or leaves of uh, of various plants and trees. Um, and I know saying plants and trees is stupid because trees are a plant, but whatever. Um, and how to identify them. So I'll go over, I'll have a video where I talk about uh, just what you can get from uh, the nature around you for, you know, pain relievers, antiseptics, antihistamines, all kinds of stuff. And oak. Oak is massively useful for a lot of things, but I'll get into more details later. Sorry, I started going off on a tangent because I find it really interesting. But, uh, I'm just gonna make myself some oatmeal, take down camp, and, uh, head back. When I get back to the house, like I said, I will, uh, record a, a quick, this is how I pack my pack. This is how I arrange everything. This is why I have this, why I have that, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and how to make it all fit in one pack. So, I guess I'll see you in a few hours. Well, one last look. Just take it all in one more time before I have to go back. To civilization. I'll be back though. I will definitely be back. Well, it looks like somebody doesn't want me to leave. I have no idea what kind of snake that is, but it is awesome! Dude, that thing's like three feet long. Yeah, like two and a half. Still. Carry on, big guy. See you later.